I was going to ask how, um, how your family, you know, how do you prepare your family for a presidential run and like how they're, how they're doing? Cause I know as a mom, it's gotta be tough to do this and to deal with all the mudslinging, get your husband and your kids on board and ready for like the, the ick that is politics. And I was just curious how you do that, how you navigate through all that. You know, I went, even when I was governor and ambassador, I always would tell my team and I believe myself that if I was a good mom and a good wife, I'd be a good governor. If I was a good mom and a good wife, I'd be a good ambassador. If I'm a good mom and a good wife, I'll be a great presidential candidate. And so, you know, that I'm a very decisive person. You know, I saw what was happening in, in our country and, and I'm a problem solver and I wanted to go fix it. But the one thing you can't do this if you don't have the support of your family. Yeah. I mean, at any time, I remember when the kids were growing up, like if, if I forgot to send a snack to school, it stayed on me all day. If I forgot <laughs> to sign a permission, like those things really do affect you. And so I really control the situation. You know, like I, I talk with my kids, my daughter's getting married in a few weeks. And so we're doing wedding oh, planning. Congratulations. And so, thank you. And so we were on a call this morning at seven. I've got her on my calendar at three o'clock this afternoon to go over some more stuff. <laughs> you know, you just make sure that they don't feel it. That's yeah. the number one goal. I don't want them to ever see me as anything other than a mom and a wife. And, you know, and I enjoy that. That's my favorite part is to be a mom and a wife. So, you know, it's always family first for me. And then if I can do that, there's nothing I can't do otherwise. I love so the that. Kids are great. Michael's great. I mean, you know, and a lot of why I'm doing this is because of them. You know, my, mm. my parents came here 50 years ago to a strong and proud America that was full of opportunities. They're now in their 80s. We take care of them. They live with us. I want to prove to them that they made a good decision. You know, my husband is in the military. I want him and his military brothers and sisters to know that their sacrifices meant something, yeah. that we love this country and our freedoms matter. You know, my daughter, she's getting married and I see how hard it is for her and her fiance to buy a home. Mm -hmm. And my son is in college and I see him writing papers. He doesn't believe in to get an A. Yeah. You know, and, and for the first time in American history, 50% of Americans don't think that their kids will have as good of a life as they did. That's not okay. You're we right can't on. be okay with that. Yep. And so, you know, it's for my family that I'm doing this. It's for everybody's family that I'm doing this because we all deserve better. We don't deserve living the way we're living right now. 